Hey, what's up everyone? Codename Soap here, and today I'm going to bring you a video about uh, not only just my favorite class, but what I believe the best classes uh, are in Black Ops 2. So, as always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy, and let's get into this thing. So right away, we're going to start with the gun, and in my opinion, this is the best gun. This is the Scorpion Evo, or EVO, as some people like to call it. It is a fully automatic submachine gun and it is a beast of a gun it does roughly about 33 damage or so up close and it can drop off quite a bit hitting about 18 damage as it gets a bit further out so up close mid-range you're going to be taking at least four sometimes five uh, shots to kill your opponent as i said it is fully automatic it does a rate of fire of roughly about 1200 rpm and about 1800 rpm or rounds per minute if you add uh, the rapid fire onto it. The reload time, you're going to get somewhere between about two to three seconds of reload time, so a little on the sluggish side. Uh, magazine size is about 32 rounds, or if you add the extended clip, you're looking at about 43. The uh, spread, if you're hip firing this gun, is very minimal. It is a laser beam. Um, of course, with all submachine guns, you have a movement speed of 100%, meaning you're not over encumbered at all when you're moving this thing so you're gonna get full range of motion now like I said this gun is a laser beam and by itself you know bare naked uh, it is amazing but it gets more amazing if you start adding attachments and if you pair it up with the right perks and that's what we're here to do today so the first thing we should do is attach primary gunfighter once you have this wild card unlocked so that way as you can see you can add a third attachment for the primary weapon in this case the scorpion evo that way you can kind of have your pick of the litter so to speak when it comes to these attachments but there are a few specific attachments that i have in mind and that i prefer to use in my games and here they are the laser sight long barrel and extended clip are my preferred choice of attachments when it comes to this gun namely for non-objective games and we'll actually get into objective based games a little bit later namely the laser sight because this gun's already a laser beam and this attachment makes it even more so of a laser beam. When you're hip firing, it's a straight line every time, on a dime, biggity bam. <laughs> anyway, the long barrel extends the range of this already amazing weapon, so that way it can kind of hold its own in mid range fights with some assault rifles. Not all of them, but you know, definitely some of them. And for a person like me who uses aim down sight and hip fire, you know, regularly, this definitely helps. Now, the extended clip is a must have because this gun eats through ammo like it's no one's business with that high rate of fire that high rounds per minute you definitely need it get it now as far as the secondary goes the only choice in my mind are the launchers the small i use or the smaw i use for this particular class because i am going to be running around and it is uav heaven in black ops 2 so having that advantage to take down that UAV and to help take down aircraft that may or may not come up is a must. Plus with the small, you can actually use this, you know, similar to the RPG and just fire into a room of people, you know, getting them killed. But I primarily use this as a UAV taking down machine and it does work. So I highly, highly recommend using a launcher. And if you're going to be rushing around kind of like I do, definitely pick up the small. Equipping lightweight in our first perk slot is kind of a no-brainer, namely because this class is designed to keep you moving, keep you on the go, and lightweight definitely does that. You're already not over-encumbered with the Evo because it is an SMG, but having that extra speed, that extra movement, and taking no falling damage is a must-have for any type of rushing class. For perk 2, I choose toughness, namely because I do aim down sight quite a bit, and having that ability to not flinch as much when you get hit is a must, must have. Keeps you on target, especially in the middle of a gunfight. I didn't choose Scavenger for this because I can, you know, definitely pick up another weapon on the go and keep my kill streaks, my score streaks, I should say, going. But when it comes to aiming down sight, gunfight, having that advantage will help every time. And as no surprise, in perk 3 we have extreme conditioning. Uh, I shouldn't have to explain this one, this is definitely a rushing class. 
Black Ops 2 is a rush heavy game. There are basically no long range maps with the exception of Turbine. So every map you're gonna be playing on is the mid range, small range. Uh, but even on those long, that one long range map, you know, having extreme conditioning definitely helps you get around point A to B and hardly running out of a run is a must have for any rushing class. You will see that we've skipped over lethal and have opted to not take that in favor for one tactical and that is the shock charge. The shock charge is excellent just because you can throw it similar to how you throw like a uh, the battle axe or the hatchet uh, or throwing knives in previous Call of Duties, but it can stick to any surface, you know, ceiling, wall, uh, the ground, anything and shock uh, even up to a group of enemies, blinding them, slowing them, definitely giving you the advantage there so I like to drop it around one corner run around the opposite corner and it kind of almost is in a way like a little UAV for me because I know if someone trips that I've got someone on my back and to be ready at all times so this is a definite must-have for this class as far as sc score streaks go I definitely like to keep mine low running a uh, UAV 100 killer drone and either the Hellfire Hellstorm missile, you know, I forget what the, the last name of it, but I, I like to keep my streak slow and I like to make it to where I don't have to, you know, be out of the game. I like to let my kill streaks do the work for me. And with it being low, you can just rack up that score just over and over and over. Now keep in mind, this class is a non objective based class, so for things like, you know, domination or hardpoint. I've got some suggestions for you, but let me do a bit of justification before we move on. The reason that I didn't choose Ghost in my perk 1 slot is because I have the small to keep me, you know, keep the, those pesky UAVs away, and I don't, I like to have the silencer on the Evo just because I don't have Ghost, so in a way there's almost no point because this is definitely not a camping, slow moving kind of class, this is a definitely get in your face, get the job done, kill them all, seek and destroy type of class. Now, let's move on to those objective classes, and that's going to be, still we're going to stick with the Scorpion Evo, and a few things are going to be tweaked as you will see here. So right away you're going to see that we have gotten rid of our primary gunfighter wildcard in exchange for a perk 1 greed wild card so we can take a second perk one. Our attachments, uh, we still have the laser sight, however now we have the fast mag. The reason I changed it up to that is because I am definitely an objective player when I am playing objective based games. So I will be on the objective and I anticipate that the enemy will be there as well so the faster I can reload and hit them, I'm all for it. And since I am an objective place bear, that's why we now have the flak jacket and tactical mass perks along with the EMP grenade. So flak jacket, I'm not going to take as much explosive damage. Tack mask, I'm going to be roughly immune to those flashbangs and other pieces of equipment. And the EMP grenade is so I can disable the equipment and disorient the enemy. The hard line I have on there just because I want to get my score streaks faster than the enemy does. So I can provide support for my team while maintaining my score and pushing me towards a win. Now this particular setup is for a smaller, you know, kind of short range uh, map, and I like to have this class for those, that's why we stick with the small as far as the, se the second, because of the reasons I stated before. And this is our mid to long range objective based class. We're still sticking with the same Scorpion, same attachment, but we've changed up the secondary uh, to the FHJ launcher because it has two shots you can fire um, and I don't plan on rushing around quite as much. I mean, I'm still on the move, but I don't plan on being as much of a close quarters fight. So that's there to take out multiple aircraft, air support, and it is an amazing launcher. We exchanged out for lightweight in our perk one, namely because this is, like I said, for a mid to long range map engagement. And that's definitely gonna get us, as I said earlier, quicker from point A to B, get into their spawn, kill the dudes, you know, and just generally do work. So, in closing, all of this you've seen before is what I primarily use. Yes, there are probably, you know, some better guns out there, but for me, if you play like me and are generally rushing around and not camping, not hanging out, not not really taking it slow, you're going to enjoy the hell out of this. My name's Codename Soap. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And if you like the video, please give it a like. If you like my videos in general, you know, go ahead, click the little annotation at the top of the screen and give me a subscribe. I would thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you for watching and take care of yourselves.